Okay, you guys, so as always, I'm going to be starting out with my P. Louise base in 2.5. And I'm just going to be dotting that all over my lid and crease area, blending that out and taking a brush and just making sure that I am evenly distributing that product and making sure that I get a nice even layer. So now I'm going to be taking that cosmetic paint and I'm just going to be putting it on the outer portion of my eye. Um, as you guys can see, I did a two-tone cut crease kind of look. So in the outer portion, I wanted to just focus that brown on um, that area. And then I'm going in with the other cosmetic paint and just doing the same thing, but in the inner corner. So now I'm taking that first shade and I'm just going to be setting that cosmetic paint. These are self setting, but they do take a minute to dry down. So um, I definitely had enough time to be able to set that paint and just make sure that that paint is giving more pigment to the eyeshadow that I'm applying. So I just wanted to show you guys a close up of the palette because I most definitely forgot to show you guys the palette now i do this thing where i just put the picture of the palette up and show you guys the shades because it's definitely less of a hassle when i have to um just you know go in with my shades and um not be able to like you know put up the palette and show you guys every single time i change the shades so yeah i just figured this is the easiest way to do it but i still wanted you guys to see the palette so as you can see i'm just taking that first deepest purple shade and I'm just packing that on the base. I know that this is a little bit deeper than the actual um, base that I applied. <laughs> but um, I don't have the other color that would like go best with it. It's been sold out forever. I don't know what's going on on P. Louise website. But they have been sold out of majority of their cosmetic paints for a minute now. Hopefully they plan on restocking soon. But yeah, you guys, I'm just going to be taking those shades and I'm um, just packing them on and then doing more of the blending later. That's typically how I like to do my eyeshadows. And yeah. So now you guys, I'm going to be doing a step that I literally swear by and that's honestly just removing all of that extra eyeshadow off of the lid so that way our lid shades can pop a lot more. I highly recommend this step, you guys. I literally say it in every single eyeshadow video that I do. Um, it's so important and it definitely makes a difference. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So now I'm going to be taking those lid shades and just kind of creating a more ombre effect. Um, if you guys can tell, I went in with the pink shade first and then it just faded into like a peachy orange shade. So yeah, after I applied those shades, I just went in with the deepest brown shade that I use in my crease and I just blended out the edges so everything can blend seamlessly. So now I'm going to take that same cosmetic paint that I use in the crease and I'm going to line my lash line and then after I do that I'm going to fill it in and also set it with that first crease shade that we use from the Be Perfect palette. So now I'm going to be going into my MAC Pink Radiance Primer and I'm going to be applying that all over the areas where I get the most oily. So yeah, um, I'm just taking that and just blending that out. Then I'm going in with one of my favorite foundations, the KVD Beauty Good Apple Serum Foundation. And I'm going to be taking that all over the skin and just blending that out with a Kabuki brush to get the most coverage. <music> So now I'm going to be taking the KVD Beauty Good Apple Concealers and I'm going to be taking the deepest shade that's closer to my skin tone and I'm going to be blending that out. And then what I like to do is take the lighter concealer that's like a million shades lighter than my skin tone and just place that in the inner corner to just give me that brightening effect without being too much. That's why I only place it in the inner corner. But yeah, you guys, um, I do like this concealer a lot. Um, it barely creases and it does have full coverage.
Now I'm going to be taking one of the best setting powders on the market. This is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Setting Powder in the shade Cherry Blossom Cake. Um, I don't know if you guys have recently seen, but they just came out with another shade called Peach Pie. It is literally a peach shade powder. Um, I'm so excited to get that video out for you guys. I already have a review on it, so if you're interested in seeing that, then just please subscribe and just stay tuned. So yeah, I'm just taking that powder um, in all the areas that I apply the concealers and I'm just going to be setting that. So now I'm going to take my favorite bronzers. These are the L'Oreal Infallible Bronzers in Dark and Deep Dark. I like to take the dark one because it's a little bit more warmer and use that as a bronzer. And then the deepest shade, I like to just mainly put in the cheekbone area for contour. So now I'm going to be taking my brown lip liner by Wet n Wild in the shade Summer Brown now. And I'm going to be lining my lips and then I'm going in with a nude lipstick from LA Colors. Then I'm going to be taking a gloss from e.l.f. I can't remember the name of it, y'all. Hold on, I got it right here. One second. It is actually their Plumping Gloss in Peach Bellini. It's a real pretty nude shade and I topped that off with my Beauty Supply Store Gloss. So this is a little trick that I like to do to make sure that my lipstick stays and it lasts a bit longer. Just take some translucent powder and just set it so it can give it that matte look and just make sure that the, um, the lipstick actually stays put and it lasts a lot longer. So now I'm taking my Easy Bake and Snatch Powder from Huda Beauty in the shade Cherry Blossom Cake as well. And I'm just going to be brightening my under eye a little bit. And hopefully you guys can see the difference that it gives. It just gives a more luminous finish. So yeah, I just take that powder where I apply the lighter concealer. Now I'm going in with my L'Oreal Infallible Blush. Um, I literally love the L'Oreal Infallible line. It's just amazing. Like, I love the quality of their blushes and bronzers. I hope they expand their blush shades a bit because I really do love these blushes. And then I'm going to go into um, some highlight. I want to say that's the next clip. Yeah, that's the next clip. <laughs> some highlight and just a random eyeshadow palette that I literally never use. I've totally abandoned, but yeah. Um, so that's pretty much the end of the tutorial, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and you learned something new. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.